video is sponsored by JP Performance. Probably not to JP's shop to pick up the trucks. We're gonna put one at his shop. Don't forget, biggest truck show in the West Coast. Let's check it out. We're right here at our JP's new facility. Just arrived. Here's the owner right here of JP Performance. How y'all doing? Y'all wanna take a little tour of the new shop? Check out what we do, what we doing here. Show them the orange show. Right there, when y'all break down during the show, you know where to go. So go. yeah, this is a new shop. So we're gonna take a look at the, the shop inside, in and out. Uh, showing a little bit what we're doing here. A little tour. We got the orange show down the street. How big is your facility? It's uh, 14,000 square feet. The whole, the whole building with the property and everything. It's 14,000 square feet. The building itself is 5,000 square feet. So, start off right here. Look at, started off from the entrance. Yeah, from the entrance. You obviously put the rocks. What you, what you do in the front we right did here? Everything. The, basically, the building got whole redone. Basically, landscaping, the fucking tent on the on the sidewalk, the sign, everything, the gating, everything you could think of, man. We went all out. Box one trees. of the nicest shops in San Bernardino. We'll talk about the trucks later. We're gonna get a quick tour of the, the new shop. And then this is the waiting room. It's the waiting room, so you guys can come in, you got another customer, you can sit down, watch TV. Um, got a little kitchen over here, you guys wanna get a snack, get something to drink, while well, you guys wait. The kitchen right here. Kitchen. Y'all need something. Some Gatorades, some beer, whatever y'all want, some snacks, snacks, whatever, TV. We got another office over here. This is going to be the display room. It's going to do a little bit of construction, but this will be the display room for the rims. We're going to be selling intros, welds, whatever you need. They're authorized dealers. Authorized dealer now. Authorized dealers for sure. Here. This is my office. This is where we negotiate pricing, give you an explanation of what we'll be doing to your vehicle. Show you what we do. Snap finance, you guys want to get finance, whatever you guys need to get done. Nothing but sonics. It's the best, that's all we work with mainly. You can check out the work area. No customers are there to be on this point without permission. So if y'all show up and we don't see you, just ring the bell. Okay, so this is the shop area. This is where we do all the work right here. Technician rebuilding the differentials. Everything you need to get done. If you guys need to use the restroom, just give us a quick holler. We'll let you in. The restroom. Yeah, that's pretty dope. We got our lifts. We got four lifts. We got two 10,000 pound lifts and two 12,000 pound lifts for big gear trucks, whatever you need. It's one of the guys, Danny. What are you doing right now, Danny? Doing the transmission. Transmission? Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, the lift we got right here. We got our building area back there. Back in testing, double water rebuilding, food rebuilding, all done in house. That's where we do everything. We got Don right here, one of our master builders, over 40 years experience. That's one of our shop cars right there. See that. Should be up and running soon. After destroying the uh, Torque 2 850 wheel horsepower. Hopefully, we'll get it done. You might see it at CTI. So back here is our building area. This is our vacuum testing area. 
valve body rebuilding. That's the jig. We got all our valves, all our reamers, everything you need basically to, to build them. We build our own kits in-house. This is all Born Warner stuff, Sonics, AC Delco, original stuff. Try to stick with the best stuff available. Pistons, valve body rebuild. This is bone. This is the main builder, like I was saying. We got a park up over there, the pressure up here. This is where it goes down right here. So, here so these are some of the coolers we use. These are the 40k coolers. These are the most uh, the most uh, famous ones we use. I mean, we use quite a bit of them. These are very popular uh, 40k coolers. Uh, these will fit most of your vehicles. Sometimes if they're on cars, uh, G8s and stuff like that, or Camaros, we can sometimes squeeze these in. They're not as long, but they're pretty thick, so they'll still do a good job. And then once we got the force induction, like Camaros, Corvettes, then we have to go with the smaller ones because we can't get them to fit. But feel free to give us a call. I mean, most of the time, we can get these installed within a few hours. There we go. Yeah, you guys can wait in the lobby, just hang out, have a drink, watch TV, and then, you know, we'll get down and ready on you. So those are like a one day? Like you could do them uh, on the same yeah, day? Yeah, you could or... do them in a day. I mean, as long as they do an appointment, sometimes if we're not doing much, but we're usually pretty busy. It's hard to just take people in like that. But, I mean, give us a call. I mean, like sometimes we're waiting on parts or something and we don't have any lifts available. And, we can do them. It takes us about three to four hours to get them installed properly. He installed and, one in my RC. Yeah, these take about. These will bring down your trans temp about thirty-five to forty-five degrees. So it's a big, big help in keeping that tranny healthy. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good it's built. If it gets hot, it's gonna get messed up. Perfect for tow pigs, no? Towing, tow pigs. towing, and just people that are beating the crap out of their cars, <laughs> <laughs> which is what we see a lot, you know. Especially on the 60s, you know, they don't, they, they can't take that much abuse. They get high and that's it. It doesn't matter. It could be a stage three. It could be a $7,000 transmission. If you don't invest a little bit of money on the cooler, it's not going to last. It's going to take a shit eventually. Coming from an expert. Yeah, so. <laughs> we see it all day. That's mostly what we work on. 4L80s, 60s, 6L80s, 4R100s, 4 ws you know, that's mainly what we work on. So, of course, to Dodge, you know, 45 RSDs, 65 RSDs. Well, that's all we specialize in. Then we got out here. This is our basic area. We got all our uh, all our storage for our vehicles. Everything's secured. As you can see, it's pretty well guarded. Got all our custom stuff here. We got cores, three transmissions, four L80s, 700s, four L60s. Um, these are some of our custom cars. This is the back area. Same thing as the front, these gates are always closed. Customers can't come through. Usually that gate's closed either way. Got the guard dog over here. Staying away from the sun, I guess. He's a little shy. Come here, Dexter. Come here, boy. Hey, watch out. This day we seem wet with him still. Watch out with the water, the water pan. <laughs> That's the custom, uh, custom right here. So it. Say what's the fail? Say what's the fail? You see? Oh, you got um. Uh, bullies, yeah. Bullies, bullies. There we go. Yeah, he brought it in after having a few complications with some other shops, but he's doing the right place now. We're gonna take care of him. Beautiful truck, huh? For sure. If you guys don't know, don't know, he's the one that won the SS clone from Las Vegas. Oh, truck shit. invasion. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's the one that won it. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Lucky man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> See who takes the other one home uh -huh. this year. You can see we got a lot more space in our old shop. We're taking a lot more work now. And more than anything, is just having a guarded area, you know? Security is the main thing on our customers' cars. We're responsible for your vehicle if it's here, so. You guys got fencing, right? Fencing, Higher fencing? Yeah, we're still still working on it. It's not complete, but still gonna have barbed wire on top. And we got our camera system everywhere. Everything's under surveillance, not to mention the dogs are loose at night, so. You know, you could trust us with your vehicles, you know? It's not gonna sit outside on the street, especially being here in San Bernardino. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. These are trucks that are done to pick up? These are done. These are already? These are done, yeah. Picking up soon. Some of these customers. What you do to this one? This one's got an OEM rebuild on the tranny. Uh, that one we did a stage one. 
uh, 40k cooler customer from LA some of these customers are coming most of our customers are coming from further out so usually they'll drop off a Saturday pick up the following Saturday that's usually the routine most of the time so should we move on to the to the showstoppers check it out so now we're gonna move on to the trucks to a giveaway truck for CTI 2020 and then my personal truck um which one do you want to start with? Uh, the, I think I think we should start for the giveaway and then yeah, we'll move on to that one. So that one, so you can explain like a little, a little what broke what and yeah. what happened to it. So, so this here, is on the on the on the SS clone, the black one, the giveaway truck. Oh man, whoever takes this home is gonna be lucky. 6.0, uh, a 4L65 tranny, and a 14 bolt differential. So on the 14 bolt differential, we did basically is uh, we sponsored it. We put in some 410 AAM gears, American made gears. Uh, bearing kit so it's complete rebuilt and then a brand new uh, G80 so it's a posi as well and I mean this thing's we're still gonna get the interior done interior done this thing looks cherry already man it's well taken care of truck very very clean we're getting it don't have a tailgate because it's getting painted and it has holes because it has it's a, a Terminator SS if you, if you guys know and Terminator SS come with the wing Three piece wing. So we took out, we took them out. So they're getting painted right now. There it is, guys. There it is. That's the JP touch. What is a 14? Oh, 14 bolt. It's a 14 bolt. There it is. Somebody's gonna take it on Saturday, April 11th. All you have to do to win this truck is attend the show. You get a ticket when you enter. And we do a drawing like around six, seven, and whatever number we pull, takes it home, no questions asked. Not to mention that was Gerardo Ortiz's previous personal vehicle. Yes, sir. Check it out. It's JP sponsored. This is our, how many, how many trucks have you sponsored? All of them. All of them for CTI, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. So catches um, on my intro. There, we might be giving away some shirts, hats, some lanyards. We got some stuff coming. We should have a big canopy and stop by, talk to us, any questions, whatever. Sir. Should we jump on the... We're gonna jump into my personal one. Oh, this is a 2006, 2006. And mine is a 2006 to mint. So, not, so now we're gonna jump to my personal one. Um, do you want to give it like a little, yeah. like a little, it's what kind of happened? A little get down. A little get down. Well, basically, you know, we thinking it was a combination of a, of a bad install on the transmission. Um, that and, I mean, it's got a hell of a lot of torque, but I mean, this thing's got to be, everything's got to be nice and tight, you know, thread lock everywhere. We found a lot of mistakes on the installation. So the dry shaft ended up breaking off. Uh, it kind of pushed the motor to a side and it broke the bracket on the motor where the starter bolts up. Uh, so now the motor's got to get pulled out, sent out, get it welded, get it repaired. And then the transmission's basically got a crack from one end to the other. So we're going to have to change the casing as well. We're going to bring that back after they pull the motor, get that taken care of. But basically we replaced the whole tail housing, new seal, new bushing, new tail. Got a whole new billet driveline reinstalled with a new uh, yoke, new slip yoke, new bolts, new clamps, everything. I mean, truck's running now, but I don't know, Rubio, see how long <laughs> it's gonna last you like that. No, I'm not gonna drive it no more because I know yeah. if I drive it. So we're gonna see who else is gonna sponsor with this build right here. You gotta pull this motor out. Who can get who can get down on it without damaging all this fucking paint, man? I mean, you gotta be very careful in working on a customer vehicle like this. So. There it is. Sponsor, man. Pull that motor out, get it welded, and then we got a case ready for him to swap into. He's trying to be running good as well. Yes, sir. Catch it at um at his booth. He's gonna be at his booth. So catch it right there. And um, you have parts, no? The parts that broke. Oh, so you we, got some. <laughs> we got some. We man. You ha so you guys get, could get a better. Yeah. Better. That was a disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster, but. It's running now, so that's the main thing. What is that? Punch time? Yeah. That's, that's when you know you're legit. <laughs>
Where is it at? Where did we leave it? Solo miro la canasta que tenía la cola quebrada. Estaba en una canasta de metal. Oh, here it is. There it is. There it is. This is a. This is what. <laughs> so what we think happened? What you want is like you want like a yeah, little it's quick. Right on the test bench. I mean, for one. This thing originally has, I believe, six bolts holding it down to the to the transmission. And some of the bolts were incorrect. They were longer and pointier. So they weren't even actually holding down the, the actual tail housing. And then on top of that, some of the bolts were actually missing as well. So that had a lot to do with everything. It was kind of like a chain reaction. And we had to change all the, all the bolts, all the clamps. Basically, we did the whole back end of the transmission, which is pretty good. So we seen what happened up there in the front. <laughs> <laughs> so probably what what well, we think it happened that uh, um, since since it was missing screws, no? Yeah, it was missing it screws. It flexed. Yeah, and then on top of that, the transmission mount, uh, it didn't have a bolt on it. So I mean, every time you would gun it, basically the whole training was jumping up. So that wasn't helping either. So it, it was mainly I, I would say bad install, very bad install. If all this stuff would have been done correct, it probably wouldn't have broke like that. Yeah, because. Yeah, that thing is a disaster. Fucking grenade. You can see right here, this one just didn't even have a bolt because this is the only one that didn't fucking break off. There was no bolt on here at all. Bad install. Uh, watch where you take your cars to, man. Yes, sir. Other than that, man, I think that's it. If you ever need a transmission, make sure to contact JP. The transmissions, differentials, transmission coolers. That's GM, right. Ford, and Dodge. To get a faster Honda's. respond? Yeah. To uh, get a faster respond? Give me a call. My number's up on our Instagram. Call, text message, whatever you like. We're really pretty quick on our response. Any questions, anything. So, oh, yeah, our hours are, are 9 to 5 during the week. Saturdays are 9 through uh, 12. You call anytime during those hours, somebody will answer. Like, that's when you know they're legit. Por <laughs> <laughs> por Man, that's legit. So now we're gonna check out his one of his personal trucks. One of them. We got another one on the my other truck. We got a motor there ready to go, 600 horsepower all motor. So hopefully that one is gonna be one of our little shop trucks. Have you dyno this one? Not yet. Not yet. We gotta change the oil and. Oh, you have to break it in first, right? Yeah. Well, it's almost it done in. already. It's almost hit the 500 miles. Gotta change the oil. Big shout out to Ellis Swaps, man. Took real good care of it on, on us on this one, man. And uh, take it to high rev to get a dyno tune. Then this is like kind of crazy color, huh? It's like a grayish, yeah, greenish, brownish. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of, you want to say the specs or no? Uh, yeah, it's just a. Uh, Forged pistons and rods, they're diamond pistons and rods forged. Uh, Texas Speed Stage 3 cam, and that was it. I mean, not, no big job, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, we did the exhaust over there at Rogers, he took real good care of it as well. Nice exhaust system. Sounds like a fucking diesel now, though. <laughs> what kind of transmission is it running? 6L80, 6 speed, 6L80, it's 4x4 as well, so we're able to launch it. Uh, it's got a 3,000 stall as well, so we might bring it in the pit. We'll see. <laughs> We're expecting anywhere between 430 to 450 to the wheels. All motor, right? All motor, yeah. All motor.